The Dudleys eventually run into the path of the dead man. It's the undertaker and Paul bear. Uh, the Dudleys are drafted to SmackDown and put together with their former boss, ECW zone, Paul Heyman. The Dudleys would kidnap Paul bear, which leads to the concrete crypt match at the great American bash. What a crazy spectacle this was. I couldn't really believe what we were seeing when it happened. If you're watching along with us, on neither YouTube, can I, these visuals are unbelievable. Um, Meltzer would say the match consisted of Heyman pulling the lever whenever he was mad at undertaker, who was supposed to lay down. Bear kept saying the undertaker would never let him die and became so obnoxious about it that people half wanted him gone. If they cared, this was just dying as if it felt like people didn't want wrestling to turn into this and they just didn't have their fingers on the pulse and Devon used a low blow undertaker sits up. Paul Heyman pulls out the urn to control undertaker, but instead he choke slams Bubba and pins Devon after a tombstone. And Heyman vows to flip the switch for good. When lightning strikes him down, the undertaker pauses in front of the switch and then pulls it a major flop of a main event. One star. What the fuck was this Bruce? Can you find anything you positive know, to say about this? What's that? Can you find anything positive to say about this? Anything. Paul Bear's suit. He had a nice suit on that night. Probably the end of that, right? Um, we had a bull rope that match that night. Okay. Um, Is that one of the lowest lows in WWE history for you? Dude, that was one of those that you think while, you know, someone pitches that idea and you look at them and go, what? And someone jumps on it and go, would you have to shut the fuck up? No, this is stupid. No, none of it works. And then it gets to the point of, um, okay, how are we going to do this? Whoa, whoa! Wait, no, wait, I don't, I don't want to know how to do it. I don't want to do it. It's horrible. So, so what happens? We're, we're gonna. It was beyond, just beyond belief. All right. Beyond just everything. It was. Um, you know, it's supposed to be this fun thing of, oh, hey, you know, you fill up the concrete crypt and every, everything about it was flawed. To Undertaker wins, but he pulls the lever. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Undertaker wins. Heyman's going to try and pull the lever, but lightning bolt hits him and he can't do it. Then the the guy that was in for the final scene of the of the concrete was bragging during the day. Oh yeah, no, I I can I can hold my breath a good you know probably fifteen twenty seconds with all that. So you should be able to get your shot and everything and the crypt falling. I mean with the crypt filling up and all that stuff over my head and. I do that a good, you know, 15, 20 seconds. I, I can do, I can do longer. Four seconds. I was never, I, and the, the, the shitty thing about it was, was, you know, we had a, we had fail safe because good Lord, man, you know, okay. Maybe that's all he could hold it four seconds and he was going to die. I don't know. But we had fail safes built in. If man, if I panics, can we just seconds. can we just time out for a minute? You just so casually said maybe he could only hold it four seconds before he dies. I don't know. 
<laughs> Think about the absurdity of what we're saying right here. I don't know. Maybe he died in five seconds. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but he's fucking up my creative if he dies in five seconds. I wanted my shot, and he got I dead in four seconds. You got you got damn right. I wanted my shot. Yes, I did want my shot. I love you. Okay. Yes. And. <laughs> I mean, the guy had breathing apparatus. They had all this shit, you know. We had it nine ways from Sunday. And he panicked at four seconds. I do this all the time. Pussy. <laughs> you scared of dying? <laughs> I'm like, hey, well, I could eat this whole fucking thing. No damn concrete. Oh, no problem. I said, okay, buddy, we'll let you eat it when we're done. but. I need you can give me 10 seconds, man. That'd be great. I don't need the full 20. You're not talking about Paul Bear here, to be clear. I'm not talking about Paul Bear. No, yeah. I'm talking about the guy that was the, that we put in there to, to do the stuff. I'm not about to, I'm not going to risk Paul Bear's life. No, but um, people don't know that. So I wanted to clarify you're talking about a, a stunt yeah. guy. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we did a stunt service so that, you know, we, the people that were insured and you know could could guarantee us. Oh yeah, this guy can do this. I would oh, care if you. Paul Bear died, but this fucking I care. I would guy. care if Paul Bear died. Um, sometimes, but uh, <laughs> I'm sitting there, and and, I, and it and it hits you, you know. First of all, that fuck four seconds, <clears throat> and I'm screaming on the headset. Just go anywhere else other than than anywhere near the crypt. What do they do? They take an overhead shot. So um, it was rotten. Um, they went in, they rescued the guy, they bring him back, and they bring him right by me, and he's got the towel on his face. and. Uh, he says, how was that? Was that good? Was that okay? Was it good? Was that okay? I said, 20 fucking seconds, huh? You count by fives? What the fuck? And his people knew I was pissed already. Because. You were name calling him. Oh, I was motherfucking the shit out of him. So. They took him away, and of course, Pooh Bear comes walking up. That was horrible. I said, yes, Paul, I'm well aware. I know. It's up. You're right. Well aware. Horrible. And, um, yeah. Hit me with that Paul Bear one more time. What? That was was terrible. That was horrible. Old George. George wouldn't be proud of that. 